All right, so I tried doing the videos, probably already posted. I'm trying to, you saw how this came in a box. This is the, the Weeha, let's see, focus. Try to get this thing to, there we go. The Weeha 51 piece, pieces in a blow model tray precision tool set. Uh, that's the part number, supposedly made in Poland. Came in this box, said I was gonna keep it. And I might, cause I'm not sure if I'll keep the unit. Also, I might, um, but trying to set this up, it came in these little little bags and then it had this poster right here. Um, let's see if you get this to refocus. Came in these little baggies, um, like you can see this was for the, the metric sizes. Um, this was for slotted. So it came in these little baggies and then this poster, you know, to replicate how it should be organized in this blow molded tray. A uh, couple concerns here. So <laughs> I got this used from Amazon and um, as I was going through putting this thing together, I initially said, Where's the lid? I mean, there's still no lid. This thing does not come with a lid. It comes as is. Really light, um, blow molded case. Um, and uh, I was laying them, I was trying to lay them out and uh, it was working out for the most part. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. This is 51 pieces. Um, we'll talk about the fact that there's one missing right there and there's one sitting right there. But 51 pieces, uh, they're actually compression compression fit. Um, there's like one in there, like this one does not want to uh, get compressed in there. Like the case flexes when I try to do it. And I was actually using the my pocket screwdriver, my pocket pry bar here to like punch and I actually, I actually punched a hole through it. It just went straight through. Uh, no big deal there. Uh, so we'll address something here. So, like I said, this one is missing. It was supposed to, looking at this thing, I literally went um, line, I went up and down each side to, and then verify that each of these were in the appropriate spot. And I found a couple inconsistencies and I was able to shift them around because I had like four that wasn't fit in quite properly when I brought them out of the bag. But went around and the only one that I can't seem to fit so I'm looking for a P, it should be a P00, let's see if I can focus this real quick. It should be where that, you know, should I use that the one? No, not quite. Let's see, I don't want to provide bad information. Hex. Uh, Slotted there. Actually, it says on this row. All right, found it. So, looking for this uh, PH0 by 50. Um, the one that I have is this right here PH1 by 60. Well, if you look on the case in here, I already have a pH one by 60, and then I don't have this uh, pH zero by 40, I believe it was, or 50. So the reason why it's not working out is that the case in, it's just, it doesn't have enough room for it to like get in there and still um, go in the slot. It's just a bit too long. So there is that. So I'm gonna try to find a single screwdriver just to fill out this set because it's just odd. It's kind of annoying that I punched a hole in it. Kind of annoying this one doesn't want to fit in there. The case kind of flexes. I keep trying. Oh, well, that one keeps popping out, and this one just doesn't want to fit. Anyway, so I was looking online just now and. Um, couple of inconsistencies right here so the case obviously did say made in Poland looking on 
looking at all these package package made in Poland made in Poland uh, made in Poland I'm gonna try to show you something and see if you can spot it uh, made in Poland made in Poland and then made in Poland you notice the difference I won't pick up all of them but you notice the difference between the packages on this one the it's not a big difference but made in Poland is at the bottom of the the www dot weha versus it's at the top of these and go figure the one that's messed up is this one so this is this came out of this package the one that's I got double the size so it came out of this package so I've just been uh you know putting on my detective hat there and uh noticing somewhat inconsistent and then I, and that's when I looked on Amazon and I was starting to look at the reviews because it wasn't really rated full mainly because it doesn't have a lid so it does not have a lid I mean if you have a toolbox to put this in or you're not gonna move this around it's gonna be fine but I would say in most cases you want a clear like a clear lid or something I actually saw I didn't read a review in full but uh, supposedly a guy made a, a clear a clear covering for this probably just like I don't know, hinge it on here and then like close over or something. But I'd say if you have it in your toolbox, it's not going to go anywhere. It'll be fine. The concern was whether or not this is a knockoff. And here's another inconsistency that I saw. So looking at all these, it says Weha made in Poland. But these, let's see if I can get these. There we go. So this is representative right here is representative of all of them and we go up we go up and then we look at this one made in germany right this is the only one right there that says made in germany and if you look in them look at all of them they have the small weha logo this one made in germany has this hexagon around it uh and these just are slightly different but this is the majority of how they look this is the only one that looks like that, right? And go figure, it's right next to the one that's messed up. So, and then on this poster right here, if you look on the poster, you know, they they say made in Germany. So is this a, is this a fake or a, a real? Um, I guess only the company would know. Obviously part of this is the, I'll just pull, I'll just use the one that's not in place. Part of this is the quality of the tool and whether or not it will work. Um, obviously, bits like these aren't gonna be used for high high leverage, high torque situation. Um, so whether or not the steel or the, the metal is good enough to where it's not gonna strip out something like a watch battery or something like if you're trying to remove it. Um, but uh, look, it looks pretty decent, uh, at least a display. Uh, but there is a concern of okay, I'm missing one here. The labeling is kind of off. I only have one that says made in Germany, and the rest of them that says made in Poland. I'm not even sure. Where, I know Weha is a European brand. I'm not sure if it's Germany or Poland um, that they're out of. But yeah, people were saying that the caps did not spin. I just ran my finger across the, the cap and they seem to be spinning for the most part. Um, and then uh, I was trying to look for consistencies and then it has this, uh, this uh, what do you call it? The chip lifter and it's all black, which is consistent with the photos on Amazon and it's consistent with the photo on here. It's, it's black. Um, the case does say Weha right here. And it does say Weha, Weha right here. Um, I'm just looking for consistencies or inconsistencies. Um, so I found it odd that the only one that was uh, completely jacked up was this one that the Made in Poland was completely um, printed differently. 
There you go, maybe. Yeah, the, the Made in Poland was printed differently than the rest of them. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. Like I said, it was, I mean, it's not a cheap set. A complete comp comprehensive set like this is not gonna be cheap, but, um, you know, shopping online, you're always gonna run the risk of, you know, getting fake stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I could try to return it and uh, get my money back or repurchase a new one or just purchase a new one and just see if it's uh how it looks compared to this when it comes um so i might i might do that just to for peace of mind you don't want to you don't want to spend your quality money on a tool that's uh knock off or fake or something so um so i'll save all these little pieces in case i gotta you know put it back together and stuff but as far as a a unit that you know is obviously legitimately manufactured at some point somewhere um i think it's okay they definitely could have done a better job and just created a lid for it a lid would have <laughs> i think a lid would have negated the fact whether or not it's real or fake um but who knows maybe they're working on it manufacturers are always seeking to improve it does have these little feet on it um so it doesn't quite sit flush um, but i mean this is i don't know this is like four pounds three pounds five pounds i don't know you get the idea super light uh anyway i posted a video before showing how it came and i it's about 10 minutes long and i was gonna do all this but it would have definitely taken a lot more time trying to figure this mess out so anyway um let me always say like on don't hit a thing.